Anderson appeared in court yesterday where prosecutors say they found blood in his home along with a, quote, sex dungeon. His bond is set at $5 million. I'm joined now by Steve Spingola, retired Milwaukee police detective and investigator on the Oxygen Channel's cold case. He worked extensively on the Jeffrey Dahmer investigation, which also happened in Milwaukee. Welcome to the program, Steve. Um, God, I mean, I got to ask you, this is the same city. This is grisly. There's a sex dungeon. Does this feel a little like the Dahmer case? First of all, thanks for having me. It does a little. But, you know, when you take a look at the difference between Dahmer and Anderson, you know, Dahmer was a lot more cunning. Anderson here, um, there's probably a history of mental illness. So, you take a look, there's a treasure trove of, of uh, forensic evidence that's left at his house and on video cameras and with witnesses. It's a little bit different than with Dahmer when you got to remember back to 1991, we didn't have any of that. But, you know, there's there's always those connections and people are still trying to link Dahmer to other crimes. Uh, one of those being Adam Walsh. But, um, you know, and excuse me, Anderson here, he's he's just uh, I don't know, he's. He is not quite as, uh, I guess, charming and as intelligent as you would have expected uh, him to be if he was a serial killer. Well, I'll tell you, the violent past that we've tracked down of, of this guy is pretty overwhelming. In, in 2014, he had a disorderly conduct. He attacked his mom's fiance and stole a car and fled. In 2015, a domestic violence. While living with his grandparents, he smashed a uh, glass. He punched a hole in the wall when they suggested that he address his mental health. In 2019, he admitted to punching a man who tried to break up a fight between Anderson and a woman. Um, this is the kind of guy that, you know, should be on people's radar. And shockingly, Sade was a criminal justice student. Are you surprised that maybe she didn't see red flags? I teach criminal justice, and yes, I am. Usually there's situational awareness here, but, you know, she's a young girl. This older guy's interested in her. He's a bartender. That tells me a little bit about his personality. He's got that gift of gab. And where they two, wherever they crossed their paths, she was obviously smitten with him, goes on this date. And let's face it, she's the victim here. There's one bad guy. I don't like it when we blame the victim, but, you know, it. you wonder what went on that night and how she winds up over at his house and eventually dismembered. Yeah, and who knows if it's him. This is an allegation at this point. It's looking pretty strong, though, the evidence. Um, listen, thank you uh, for all of this. We'll continue to watch this case. It's so distressing. But Steve Spingol, it's good to have you on. Thank you for this. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.